Learn the art of successful self-empowerment and start implementing these powerful psychological methods in this video to learn how to become a confident, self-empowered person. Have you come across a person who is so naturally friendly that when you put him inside a room of strangers, he'll be friends with almost everyone in no time? We call such a person a people person, someone unbelievably nice and charismatic that he can charm anyone into doing anything. A socially empowered person achieves so much greatness basically because of the people that actually lead him to success. He earns the trust and the support of the people whom he'd helped before. He never runs out of help. He can do anything with the supportive people behind him. This is because he knows how to maximize his social potential. Look at it this way, if you know your social skills and you make use of them, you will reach self-empowerment. Self-empowerment is making a general overhaul in your life and turning yourself into a happier and more successful person. And if you can be one of these people persons, then I can't see any reason why you will not succeed. You just have to know where to start and we're going to help you today. First of all, be genuine. Hypocrisy will bring you all the way down. Be genuinely nice and interested in people. If you be a hypocrite, they'll spot you because once they realize that you are Mr. Hypocrite with selfish intentions, you might as well say goodbye to self-empowerment. Be a great listener. Listening skills are the key to self-empowerment, especially when it comes to your social potential. To earn the love, the appreciation and the trust of people around you, you need to listen to their problems and sympathize with them. Don't just hear them out, listen to them with your heart. Remember to make eye contact with the person talking to you. Listen as if every word matters and it does. You'll be surprised at the appreciation they give back to you and also the appreciation that you have for yourself for helping out. Remember to laugh out loud. I don't mean that you need to force yourself to laugh to every joke cracked by someone, but you need to also find it funny at the same time. This basically means finding humor in things and not to be too serious all the time. A person filled with an awesome sense of humor attracts crowds and eventually attracts success as well. Make sure you don't forget yourself along the way. In the process of fluttering around like a social butterfly, you might forget yourself allowing everyone to push you over. Always remember the key here is to love and value yourself before anyone else does. If you see yourself respectable and worthy of affection and attention, people will give you the same thing back to you and they'll see that, they'll see your confidence in yourself and your trust in yourself and again they will trust you and appreciate you. Remember, do random acts of kindness. You don't have to be overboard and blow all your savings away to charity, this is not what we mean. Little acts of kindness matter the most and this can be something so simple as giving someone a surprise, giving them a take care card or a thank you card or a get well card and helping an elderly across the street. The simple it is and the better it is because it comes straight from your heart. When we were in kindergarten and in school, kindness was taught to us and it was greatly practiced. Now is the time to revive the good deeds and this time let them stay for good. Also gratitude is really great. Be grateful for everyone around you. Be grateful for the person that you are today, no matter the, what the flaws are, because being grateful brings you more abundance and more confidence your way. Make sure to contact your old friends. Sad how some friendships are destined to end, but that's life and the most important friendships, the ones that will last, make sure to keep in contact with them. And thanks to technology, you can do something about it and you can just uh, simply contact them. They're only a call away. Relive the good old days by flipping your yearbook and looking for great people whom you want to contact with again. Adding these old friends to your roster of support peers will make you feel good all over. It will boost your self-confidence and it will strengthen your support team. Remember to always build and develop and improve your personality. Are you grouchy, grumpy and generally angry? 
you can't go through life with these. Life is so short and its most important thing is always to focus on the positives and try to replace your bad or not so good habits with good ones. I know it's hard and it's a habit change that you need to go through, but it is achievable and it will help you greatly in achieving self-empowerment and achieving social recognition as well. This is because the bad habits, they stop your growth. They uh, mess up with your growth as well. So you want to avoid them and you want to stop the bad habits. Make sure that you're being mindful of what bad habits you have. Write them down if you're the type of person that likes to jot things down on paper and make a mindful uh, intention to set yourself to get rid of these bad habits and replace them with habits that are positive, that will allow you to grow and allow you to reach the self-empowerment stage. Make sure to surround yourself with positive people. Confidence is key. Always remember to be confident, to be proud and to trust yourself for your own decisions. Be able to stride to the other corner of the room and introduce yourself to people with the winning smile of yours. Just remember, confidence, not arrogance. Learn to practice control. Self-discipline is super important here. So if you're feeling frustrated, if you're feeling mad, make sure not to snap at anyone. As in avoid tantrums, and I know it's quite difficult for the angry ones out there or the people that are struggling with anger management, but it's really important to be aware of your uh, your behavior. Be aware of... Make sure to take control of the situation and transform your anger if you have any anger issues into something much more productive and passive. Because as soon as people think that your anger goes to the volcanic proportions easily, they'll find it hard to come to you and to work with you and to relate with you. So all this aside, you also uh, look at yourself differently if you are not able to have self-discipline. But if you are able to discipline yourself and you master the art of disciplining yourself, you have confidence. Your confidence and your trust in yourself will boost and therefore you will reach the self-empowerment stage easier and effectively as well. Focus on your positive relationships and keep nurturing them. Your relationship with your family, your friends and significant other is too precious and you must not neglect it whatever happens and no matter how heavy the workload gets. Remember to take a break every now and then and go out and have fun with them. Do things together that you both enjoy. Happiness will stay as long as the people who matter the most to you are close to you. And they don't have to be close by distance. Uh, They can be close if they're living in another country. They can be close to heart where you are still in contact with them. You're still messaging them. There's still the phone calls in between you. In the end, using people for self-empowerment means becoming a better and more lovable person and therefore helping others as well. So it's a win-win situation. People know they can turn to you anytime and vice versa. We've come towards the end of our video. If you enjoy content on self-development such as this one, like, share and subscribe. We would love to have you on board and we'll see you in the next video.